afternoon everybody that's all. today's first video i'm gonna do a tutorial uh basically my rig that i use 90 percent of the time is uh, air rig just a normal bottom bait air rig basically the same same hooks on most of the rigs anyway so i use uh round about six five six inch hook link length uh curved shank hooks and uh, Supernatural, which is what I prefer. Don't have to be harder, plenty of other mechs out there. So, we'll start with round about 10 inch first of hook and material. Drop that off. I'll we'll put a, just a small hair in one end, which is just basically an overhand knot. Do a, an overhand knot in one end which is basically loop and push your end back through the back giving you just a simple loop and a knot in one end once you've done that my tag end off, uh, not too tight to your knot, but something like so you're just left with a, a little bit of a tag. So, again, my my favourite hooks are curve shank. Again, any particular mech you, you'll prefer to use, minute, I'm using a uh, corner curve shank. So, always go through the back of the eye. So, obviously, depending on what size bait you're using, uh, I use 15 mil normally. So, you want round about uh, 20 mil from end of your hair to the top of your hook. So, it just allows room for your bait and just a small gap between it. And then Going round the back of your hook, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven or eight times, and then you end back through the back of your hook again. Now, before you pull that down tight, just make sure that your air is actually running parallel with the back of your hook, just so it's nice and straight. And then just give that a pull nice and tight. So that's that's your hook and hair end done. And your other end, I'm going to do another another knot, but this time we're going to do the figure of eight knot. So you basically do the same, loop over, but then we're going to grab the loop, twist that round, and then push the end through the back. And again, pull them down nice and tight. Trim off your tag end. And this end doesn't have to be anywhere near tight. Uh, me personally, I use a, a silicon sleeve to uh, slide over my quick quick release link, so it covers that part up of it anyway. Uh, so that is basically my go-to hook link on pretty much any venues I fish and it's simple and catches your fish so I hope you've enjoyed I hope some of you have learned something and uh, happy angling